Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist. A cartoonist with a dull pencil. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon shark. Cartoon sharks are, well, they're, they're a lot of fun. I could do it sideways or standing, or you could do it any way you like, but I'm going to do this one horizontally first. I start with a almost like a half moon, a thin half moon, let's say, and tapers back here. Now bring this out a little longer. I don't want to get past uh, the borders of the camera. That is the sort of look right here that we're going to start with. Deep into the, into the, uh, the head, which is right over here, I'm going to draw the eye. Now, look at that, those eye bags. I mean, it looks like he, he's been up for about, you know, 48 hours, and he has, because sharks do not sleep. Okay, now we're going to indent the forehead a little bit. And I'm going to give him uh, a, a huge smile. Because he's all teeth. If you don't have the teeth, you don't have the uh, character. That's what we think of when we think of a cartoon shark, a little bit of a nose up here. Now I'm going to bring his jaw down further, make him look kind of tough. So you add a little mass here. Remember, these are just guidelines. You can always erase them, change them, be free about them. There's nothing, nothing permanent until you finally put the pencil down. Here we go, so make it all flow together. And we're gonna now make the back uh, taper down into a tail. The fin back here. I'm gonna make that a little thinner. Now, for his, um, for his front fin, his sort of arms, um, which is different from his dorsal, you can make them go back the way they normally would, but I kind of like to make them look tougher, so I, I make them almost like shoulders. I like them to go forward. I'm going to shade the back one a little bit, give it a little depth. A nice dorsal fin. That's also known as the bottom, bottom sort of protrusion. Another small one over here, and you can make a little design with this if you like. Maybe he's close to the seabed. Give a little sea flora, which is kind of random stuff. Maybe a giant clam. Also there, some dots because that's sand, a couple of bubbles, and a current line. Also, what's fun, though, is if you add a little frightened fish who is not swimming nearly fast enough. There you go. He's all mouth. And there you have it, your cartoon shark.